Joining us now live is senior national spokesperson for the Bloomberg campaign, Sabrina Singh. Uh, Sabrina, thanks for joining us tonight on our live coverage here on ABC News Live. Uh, we talked to you again in another election that uh, your candidate that you work for uh, is not involved in. Uh, did okay in that first precinct that reported, made some phone calls and got some headlines out of it. Smart play there. Uh, I'm wondering, is, is former mayor Mike Bloomberg, is he watching the results tonight and, and, and who is he pulling for? Yeah, well, thanks so much for having me on tonight. Uh, it's an exciting night in New Hampshire. Obviously, we're watching the returns here. I think all of us, Mike included, are all watching to see who emerges as the victor from the New Hampshire primary. But look, you know, we know that this race for us really begins on Super Tuesday and beyond. These are the states that are going to be uh, the, the battleground states that will deliver who will be not only the Democratic nominee, but who can defeat Donald Trump in November. So we're focused on states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, California, Texas, Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin. We have been laying the groundwork there in these large states that not only deliver massive delegates, but also are going to be crucial to defeating Trump in November. We know that we have to win back those voters in 2016 that did not turn out for Hillary Clinton, and those voters that did turn out during the 2018 midterms, we need to motivate them again to turn out in the presidential and vote for Mike Bloomberg. You know, Tom Steyer spent a lot of money, and it, it was unclear how much it was helping him, if at all. Your, your boss is spending a lot of money now, uh, the most money, more, more than $300 million, I think was the, the last check. Uh, but you guys got some promising news this week with that Quinnipiac University poll that had him uh, in double digits. What, what was that moment like for the campaign? We're so excited. I mean, we are. We just got our third qualifying poll today uh, towards the debates. We're one poll away from officially qualifying. Uh, and we really want Mike's voice to be on the stage. We really want Americans to hear from him, to hear what he has to say, to hear his vision for the country. Um, but I think why Mike is resonating is because his message to voters all across the country, diverse voters, is that I can bring this country together. Um, this is someone that ran the biggest city, uh, one of the biggest cities in the country, um, and he's a doer. This is someone that gets it done, and that's actually our slogan, Mike, Mike will get it done, um, because he's someone that, whether it's taking on the NRA um, and, you know, creating one of the biggest groups in the country to end gun violence with Every Town for Gun Safety, um, he reduced New York City's carbon footprint uh, more than twice the national averages, um, and, and this is someone that actually grew the New York City economy, uh, brought back clean jobs. Um, you know, made it so people were actually getting, uh, feeling their paychecks, feeling uh, the economy working for them. That is what people want in the White House. Sabrina, Sabrina, speaking of, of, of his tenure as New York City mayor, I, I'm really confused. It, some audio came out today uh, from Mayor Michael Bloomberg seeming to, to side with stop and frisk, um, yeah. comments that, that likely offended many in the, in the minority communities. Uh, he's all over the place with stop and frisk, frisk. Does he believe it works and does he support his decision that, that, that it was used in New York City? Well, actually, I mean, he's he's really not all over the place. I would say that you know he apologized uh, for for what Stop and Frisk did to Black and Brown communities uh, in New York. Um, this was something that you know he takes ownership over. Uh, he understands the impacts. Um, he didn't understand how they were impacting families then, um, and I think it takes a leader to understand not only uh, the impacts of a decision that you have made, but take responsibility and apologize. Um, but look, you know. But Mike Sabrina, taking, yes, uh -huh. Sabrina, I, I want to stop you there, though. Sabrina, I, I, I was a local reporter in New York City when, when he was mayor. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of reporting on what Stop and Frisk was doing to those communities. So it was not new. It was right. not an after-the-fact kind of thing. This was in real time. So when you say, like, he came to understand that, I mean, he knew that at the time. I mean, it, was, it was in the newspapers. It was on the local news. I don't actually think he understood the impact Stop and Frisk had on families, especially when you when you take a 30,000-foot level view here. Uh, a stop and Frisk wasn't just the arrest of someone and then putting them in jail. The effect that it had on the entire community throughout New York City, those are things that I think are lessons learned, something that he has certainly apologized for. But look, today we were meeting with over 20 African-American faith leaders that were here in our headquarters, and they came 
came out and, and you know, not only are supportive of Mike, but, you know, called on the president um, and, and really called out his lies for calling Mike a racist. You know, Mike is not a racist. He is someone that has worked within the community. He is someone that has apologized for the mistakes that were made. And I think that really takes courage and that is a leader who recognizes that, look, we did not do everything right at the time and we're going to get it right for the next time. Sabrina Singh, we thank you so much for your time, and we look forward to uh, the time that we can uh, report when Bloomberg is uh, on the ballots and, and he's competing with all the other candidates. Uh, that'll be on Super Tuesday. All right, Sabrina, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.